Welcome to the Buena Vista Museum. My name is John Stiegel. Today we're looking at the dinosaur collection we have here in our exhibits. Our Chasmosaurus skeleton we have in our exhibit is one of our recognizable specimens on display. The Chasmosaurus lived over 80 million years ago in the western portion of North America. It is a distant relative to the recognizable Triceratops. It can grow to about 16 feet in length, weighed over 2 to 4 tons, so it was a heavy built animal. Its primary food is foliage from small trees and bushes, and kids really do get, get a kick out of this particular skeleton on display. Some of our collection we have from private collectors, including from the Harvey family. Um, among them includes an, a wonderful collection of fossils found in Utah. One of the prized specimens on display is on loan to us is a Diplodocus femur or upper leg bone dated to more than 160 million years ago in the Jurassic period. Among our recognizable dinosaurs is the famous raptors including the species Velociraptor known from the deserts of Mongolia and China lived over 85 to 75 million years ago. It is known from the popular movie series like Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. Our nice model we have on display belongs to a Velociraptor. This one was created by a local artist. It was put on display here on loan to us. It is a a Hollywood version of the Velociraptor that many of us have grown to love since we were kids. Unlike the movie versions, the real Velociraptors were only the size of coyotes. Regardless, they were intelligent pack hunters, and we believe they also may have had a cover of feathers to keep them insulated and for possible display. Our dinosaur egg display here in our ancient life exhibit so it's a variety of dinosaur eggs from different species. The first dinosaur eggs were recovered in the 1920s by the American Roy Chapman Andrews. They thought it belonged to a, a horned dinosaur called Protoceratops, but it actually belonged to the carnivore oviraptor, ironically known as the egg thief. The hadrosaurs were known to be the cattle of the Cretaceous period. In our display, we have a few samples of this particular group of animals. Among them is an actual fossil belonging to an Edmontosaurus from the state of South Dakota. This upper arm bone, called a humerus, is put on loan from a private collector. Interesting enough, one of our recognizable emblems of the state of California is a hadrosaur, which as of 2017 is the official state dinosaur of California. One other of our specimens is the Triceratops. They were among the last type of dinosaurs to exist on Earth before the dinosaurs died out 66 million years ago. The Triceratops on display is a full-grown adult with large horns on the forehead and, and large sets of molar teeth for chewing down foliage, mainly from trees and bushes. The Spinosaurus of North Africa, who dates to about 90 million years ago, were the largest theropod dinosaurs of its kind. But despite the, sm the large size of this animal, it primarily fed on fish, like the large fish we have in our um, display along with the model of this animal. The armored dinosaurs came in two varieties. We have Stegosaurus from the Jurassic period and Ankylosaurus from the Cretaceous period. Both were uniquely adapted for protection against aggressive predators. Our dinosaur exhibit has been in our museum since 1996, and it has been among the favorite of many children of all ages and those who are children at heart. Most of our dinosaur models you see on display are, are were created by local artist Ed Herman, who graciously have loaned these wonderful models in our display for the good part of two decades now. Our collection over time have grown thanks to the contributions of local 
collectors and volunteers to our museum who have wonderfully put in their time and effort to make this exhibit possible for our community to enjoy. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to find new videos.